Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our breast sonography board review. Let's keep rocking this test. Question 51. Holding the transducer in the sagittal position above the nipple of the right breast represents the A, 6 o'clock position, B, 12 o'clock position, C, 9 o'clock position, or D, 3 o'clock position. The answer is B, 12 o'clock position. Question 52. A fibroadenoma was found in the 8 o'clock position of the left breast. Which quadrant is this? A, left upper outer quadrant. B, left lower inner quadrant. C, left upper inner quadrant. Or D, left lower outer quadrant. The answer is B, left lower inner quadrant. Question 53, click on the correct area close to the nipple. So where on this image would identify an area that's close to the nipple? The answer is about right here in this region. So I'll just click right there. Question 54. Click in the area where breast cancer more commonly develops. Now to be specific, this question is asking to select one area per breast. And the answer would be right here and right here. This is the upper outer quadrant of each breast. Question 55, which view is this called? A, lateral medial, B, cranial caudal, C, medial lateral, or D, medial lateral oblique? The answer is D, medial lateral oblique. Question 56. Holding the transducer in the sagittal position below the nipple of the left breast represents the A, 6 o'clock position, B, 12 o'clock position, C, 9 o'clock position, or D, 3 o'clock position. The answer is A, 6 o'clock position. Question 57. This scanning method represents the A, circular pattern, B, grid pattern, C, radial pattern, or D, circumferential pattern. The answer is C, radial pattern. Question 58, click on the LOQ of both breasts. This question will also refer to one click per breast. The answer would be right here and right here. Question 59, this image shows a transducer placement. What scanning plane is demonstrated? A, parasagittal, B, transverse, C, antiradial, or D, radial?
The answer is C, antiradial. Question 60. What is the advantage of this transducer position? A, it allows shoveling or compression of the breast tissue toward the nipple. B, it matches well with the anatomy and avoids missing areas of the tissue. C, it examines the breast in a lawnmower pattern and avoids missing anatomy. Or D, it helps to distinguish the varying ductal anatomy from small lesions. The answer is D. It helps to distinguish the varying ductal anatomy from small lesions. Question 61. Which of the following is an advantage of this transducer position? A. It matches well with the anatomy and helps to avoid missing areas of the tissue. B. It yields quantitative information on tissue elasticity. C. It examines the breast in a lawnmower pattern and avoids missing anatomy or D, provides better detail of the breast tissue during compression. The answer is A, it matches well with the anatomy and helps to avoid missing areas of the tissue. Question 62, which of the following is the best elevational focus available and should be the minimum used for breast ultrasound? A, 0.5 centimeters, B, 1 centimeter, C, 1.5 centimeters, or D, 2 centimeters. The answer is C, 1.5 centimeters. Question 63. What type of condition is known as the orange pill sign as indicated in this ultrasound image? A. Paget's disease, B. Inflammatory carcinoma, C. Invasive lobular carcinoma, or D. Invasive ductal carcinoma. The answer is B. Inflammatory carcinoma. Question 64. Which of the following is the most common breast cancer found in men? A. Invasive ductal carcinoma. B. Inflammatory carcinoma. C. Invasive lobular carcinoma. Or D. Fibroadenoma. The answer is A, invasive ductal carcinoma. Don't be fooled if the question is asking for breast cancer, this has to be malignant. Anything that is related to breast cancer does not involve benign tumors. Question 65, what levels do surgeons perform an ALND procedure? ALND stands for axillary lymph node dissection. A, level four, B, level one and two, C, level three, or D, level five or greater. The answer is B, level one and two. Question 66. Which of the following is the most common site to spread breast cancer via the bloodstream? A, lymph nodes in the armpit. B, terminal ductal lobular units or TVLU. C, ribs. Or D, internal thoracic artery. The answer is C, the ribs. Question 67. All of the following should be documented by a sonographer except A, symmetry of the breasts, B, the weight of the breasts, C, surgical scars, 
or D, nipple retraction or discharge. The answer is B, the weight of the breast. Question 69, which of the following uses the patient's own tissue to create a new breast? A, the tram procedure, B, the sentinel node procedure, C, the ALND procedure, or D, the modified radical mastectomy? The answer is A, the tram procedure. Question 70. Which of the following will typically follow the brachytherapy? A, simple mastectomy. B, radical mastectomy. C, modified radical mastectomy. Or D, lumpectomy. The answer is D, lumpectomy. Question 71. Which of the following is an advantage of using this device? A, the skin never has to be punctured. B, uses less radiation than brachytherapy, but no more than chemotherapy. C, small tumors can be completely removed. Or D, uses only two needles, one to puncture the tumor and one to vacuum out the tumor. The answer is C, small tumors can be completely removed. Question 72, the advantage of this mammographic view is that it A, describes the location of a mass either lateral or inferior to the nipple, B, describes the location of a mass in either medial or superior to the nipple, C, describes the location of a mass either superior or inferior to the nipple, or D, describes the location of a mass either medial or lateral to the nipple. The answer is D, it describes the location of a mass either medial or lateral to the nipple. Question 73, which of the following hormone is used to treat breast cancer? A, raloxifene. B. Premarin, C. Prempro, or D. Provera? The answer is A. Raloxifene. These other choices here had good intentions in the beginning, however, had different outcomes in the end. Question 74, what quadrant is this mass in? A, left upper inner quadrant. B, left upper outer quadrant. C, left lower inner quadrant. Or D, left lower outer quadrant. The answer is B, left upper outer quadrant. Question 75, what sonographic view is this? A, anti-radial pattern. B, radial pattern. C, grid scanning pattern. Or D, longitudinal pattern. The answer is C, grid scanning pattern. Well, that concludes another 25 questions on this board review. Just like before, I'll keep writing questions and uploading those videos as fast as I can. We'll keep rocking through this test. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardReview.com. Thank you so much for watching.